this is my desk and I honestly love it. But although this is a really lovely workspace, I want to create a second space in my room where I can do writing, things that don't require a computer. So in this video, I'm going to be setting up this new desk and putting everything together. It's going to have an Edwardian theme. Also, I want to say thank you so much to NordVPN for sponsoring today's video. Of course, the first thing was actually moving in the desk. This is my old childhood desk and it's a school desk from the 1950s or 60s. I love this desk and it's the one I had up until the age of 11. Then I started getting out the inside. So the first thing is some notebooks. These are the notebooks I use for writing. And I also wanted to put some letter writing supplies inside. So at the moment, I use this writing slope to store all of my letter writing supplies. And I do intend to keep on using this as well as the desk because I do have quite a lot. Just because I pick up loose pieces of paper and sometimes postcards and things. So in this side, I've got letter writing paper. And then in the other side, I've got envelopes. Um, and you can also see this is absolutely beautiful. This is actually my 18th birthday present. Um, there's like a rest here for your pens and there are these tiny, these little ink vial bottles um, for storing your ink in. But it's really beautiful and the idea is that you can bring this with you on the go and you have the perfect, uh, the perfect surface for writing when you're out and about. Next, I made a list of all of the things I wanted to keep in my desk. So things like ceiling stamps and stamps and letter writing supplies. And then I got to organizing. One thing I really wanted to put in this desk was my feather quills, so I just filled up this decorative pot with those and fit them inside. And another essential is stamps, like postage stamps as well as rubber stamps. So I put all of my stamps into this box from Muji and yes, they are very messy. I've got quite a lot of eclectic ones. I love these ones. These are inspired by the romantic poets. So this one is The Lady of the Lake by Walter Scott and mountains that like great stand to senatorial enchanted land. So some Harry Potter. 
bottom ones here. I've got Rupert Bear ones. Where are my Rupert Bears? They're very cute. Um, <laughs> very messy. These are the Rupert Bear Christmas ones, which are really adorable. Put that in my place. <laughs> I also popped my address book in there. And then actually this is something I just ordered. This is a writing organizer from the 1960s and it's so beautiful. I got this on eBay. So these were quite common for storing your writing goods when you're going out and about, um, specifically for letter writing. And so I wanted to put together a portable writing setup, which I could really easily take with me on the go if I were going out anywhere. As you can see, it comes with a mini address book as well, which is so beautiful and I can't wait to fill this out, even though I do already have an address book. So first of all, in the right hand side, I folded some letter writing paper and popped that inside. I also added my Parker Fountain pen. And then these B6 envelopes just went into this pouch. I also took some stickers from that pastels tin and put them in the little transparent pouch um, just because these are quite good for decorating letters. Then of course some stamps, some sticky notes and also a paper tape. And that was everything and I just popped it into my desk. So if I were then to go out to do writing, I would simply grab this letter organizer. It is of course now kitted out with letter writing paper and stamps. Then I've got this small notebook, which is in the back of my chair, which I'll also bring. And then I can just grab my satchel and fill it up with everything that I would need for writing if I were going out which is basically just, I would bring my laptop and this letter organiser, the notebook, and then in the front I'm going to add a spare pen, this is just one of the pilot ones, then just airpods and my phone, my purse, and finally some hand sanitizer. And then that's everything that I would need for a writing session out and about. So I sometimes like to go to coffee shops or maybe libraries to do writing. Um, I really love the ambience in here. If I am going out and about and I'm writing, I will usually use Wi-Fi because I like to research as I'm going along. And when using public Wi-Fi networks, I personally will change my VPN address because it helps to keep your data more secure. I know it's just a good secure habit to get into. So I've been using NordVPN over a year who are kindly sponsoring today's video. So NordVPN is actually the fastest VPN server out there and it's so easy to use. You've got this map, map of the world and then you can just click on the pin on the country that you want to change your location to. In the space of two clicks, your VPN address has been changed and um, your data is more secure when you're working out and about. You could change it anywhere. They've got over 5,200 different servers in 59 different countries. Um, if you want to start using NordVPN too, you can go to nordvpn.com forward slash ruby for a discount. But thank you so much NordVPN for sponsoring today's video and now let's get back to the desk makeover. So now it's time to decorate everything. All of the stationery was in the desk and I wanted to just give it a bit more character. It did already have some decorations on the inside. As you can see, there's also this giant ink stain over this back picture of from the Winter's Tale Ballet where I managed to spill ink everywhere. So what I wanted to do was add a scroll on the inside with my goals and intentions for the whatever month we were in. Um, this didn't end up going to plan, but I did get the footage, so I just wanted to show you what I was kind of thinking of doing. Um, I managed to get it to scroll, but it just wasn't very functional and I didn't think it was worth keeping up. So instead I used this giant peg and attached this to the lid of the desk and then I could just use this for keeping hold of any important papers. I also pinned up a mini master to-do list which is one that we sell on Pumpkin Productivity.
Before decorating the area around the desk, I wanted to show you the chair. For my desk chair, I'm going to be using this one, which is one that we did already have. It's like a spare chair downstairs, and so my parents have like put it in my room instead. Um, this is actually an antique altar chair. At the back, there's this kind of cavern where you put your hymn book, and um, I'm going to fill that up with a few useful notebooks and things which I can easily access at my desk then. This chair also goes perfectly with the desk. So in here I'm going to add this notebook which is my kind of main creative writing notebook. Then this is my admin notebook. And then finally this is the notebook that I'll bring with me if I go out. And I'm also going to add a few washi tapes because they fit perfectly in here. So I'm going to add these in a row. And they're just four of the ones that I use most often. Here I was just looking for some of my favourite quotes in literature. And I'm basically going to write these up on nice paper so I can stick them above that new desk. I did have a load of these written up and they were on this desk and then I moved them and put them in a folder but I can't remember which folder I put them in and so if they show up I'll put those up too but I don't know where they are at the moment. So next I just rearranged the Polaroid pictures which are currently up on the side against my wardrobe. I have this large box of photographs and so I just got some out which I could use to decorate the desk. And I started to make this mood board. Alright, so I am now going to order a few bits for my new desk. This is a letter writing desk and so it's all related to that. Etsy is my go-to for everything, honestly. <laughs> It can be quite expensive, but it's nice to support independent businesses when you can. I don't always, I don't do it perfectly, but I try to shop mainly from Etsy, Depop, Vinted, eBay, like get secondhand things. Often I end up preferring them because they're more um, unique and especially getting antiques, antiques and vintages and things. Okay, wait, this came up. I need to show you this. Tobacco and Regrets. They do 12th scale miniature art and it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at that. It looks like Coraline. Is it me or does this desk setup really look like the dads in Coraline? I want to find an antique, like a genuine antique letter organiser for my wall. Make sure you always put in your location as well because I always fall in love with things which are from Europe or um, America. I love this one actually. Oh my gosh, it's the first one up, but it's beautiful. Genuinely, this is perfect. It's Art Deco, so is it 1930s? Okay, that's nice. Oh, I love this. I mean, it's quite expensive, but it's also stunning. I think it would look really good above my desk, so I'm going to buy it. Okay, I'm gonna buy this. Then it came, um, it came really quickly and it was really nice to package. And definitely check them out on Etsy if you're looking for some good vintage homeware because they were really nice sellers and they had quite a lot of options. My dad drilled this to the wall above my wardrobe. I'm just using the bottom one for letters to respond to and the top one for letters I need to send. So now time for final touches. Just to use the pipette to transfer some black ink from this ink bottle into the ink roll, which is in the desk.
So um, to finish off this video, I wanted to give you a tour of the desk. Um, I love how it turned out. It's such a nice little nook for writing. I come here to journal. I've been, I was doing some watercolor painting actually yesterday as well. I'm not very good, but it was very good fun. Um, whereas my other desk has got my computer, it's, you know, th this just feels like a step back in time, which is really nice. So um, on the desk itself, you can see that I've got um, my typewriter. My sister got me this from Camden and she carried it on her back the whole way, the whole way back. Do you remember, Mum? Um, so then I've got my um, candlestick, this little pumpkin that my sister got me and a coaster, of course, for the necessary tea. As well as, I really love this. This is an inkwell because this is an old school desk and I filled this with ink and then I can use my dipping pens in this. Then for the chair, you can see, uh, this is an old altar chair and in the back I've put some notebooks like my journal and also some washi tapes on this side, as you can see, washi tapes. Um, and I just want to quickly give you a rundown of like how I've decorated around too. So um, I've got my Polaroids which were here already and then here I've kind of, I want to turn this into a vision board for quotes that I find in literature that... Um, I find really touching and so I'm hoping to add to this uh, over the course of you know however long I've got this desk space um, and I just hope it will be a source of inspiration when I'm writing. So then here on the opposite side I've just pinned up my Polaroids at the top and then I've got all of these printouts and then finally my favourite bit is this letter organiser which is from the 1930s and I just love the engravings on the brass. So just to show you the inside, I might move this because it might catch fire otherwise. Inside, this is what it looks like. Um, as you can tell, it's an old school desk. Um, my dad got this off the bonfire heap at my old school um, and that's the story of how this came to be. So this was like my childhood desk. Uh, I've just decorated it with some pictures. I've got this um, giant peg for loose bits of paper. And um, then over here, I've got some notebooks. I've got letter writing supplies here. This is my travel pencil case for if I go out and about and I want to bring it. I've got stamps and then some more pens in the Matilda the Musical one. So then on the other side, I've got some sticky notes. And then in here, I've got sealing wax supplies. And I really like how that's looking. I've also got some stamps here and in this little box I've got some sealing wax. Next is sticky notes. This is my address book which is from Paper Blanks if you're wondering. It's Edgar Allan Poe inspired so these are, this is Edgar Allan Poe's handwriting. It's really beautiful. I've had this since I was 15 I think. Um, it's lasted me really well. And I've also got some feather quills in this little pot. And then just some miscellaneous bits this side. So ink, my ink blotter, a candle snuffer for the candlestick. And finally in this little black currant pastels tin, I've put lots of stickers, which I can use when I'm letter writing. But that is everything in the desk. As you can see, it's mainly um, focused around letter writing because I try to write a letter every day um, and this is a really nice space in the morning to come and write my letters um, but thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you have a productive week <laughs>